A woman under arrest in New Hampshire is facing federal charges of threatening a Wayne County election official. The feds say she sent multiple threatening messages to Wayne County canvasser Monica Palmer following last month's board meeting where she initially voted to not certify the election. Let's get to Victor Williams. He's live tonight. Victor, you've been going through those messages. What have you found? Yes, that's right. We've been going through this 10 page affidavit, which really details these horrific messages sent to Monica Palmer. And this was really something that happened all thanks to local law enforcement and the FBI. The allegations in this case should make us all disgusted. U.S. Attorney Matthew Snyder detailing the threats allegedly made at the hands of 23 year old Caitlin Jones. Our investigation and prosecution has nothing to do with Ms. Palmer's vote, it has to do with what happened following that vote. It said through a series of disturbing messages, the 23-year-old tried her best intimidating chair of the board of canvassers, Monica Palmer, with graphic threats against her family, some of them reading, quote, bleeping with our elections is terrorism and us Americans clearly don't tolerate terrorists. So yes, you should be afraid, your daughter should be afraid, and so should your husband. But other messages are even more heartbreaking, showing Jones allegedly going after Palmer's minor daughter. Jones then sent Palmer two graphic photographs of a bloody, naked, mutilated, dead woman lying on the ground. Immediately following, Jones sent Palmer a photograph of Palmer's minor daughter. The following messages read, quote, I'd like you to imagine that's your little, beautiful daughter. That attitude fans the flames. It leads to the senseless threats we're seeing in the allegations like this today. Attorney Snyder says, however, this is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes down to cases like this because of the results of the 2020 election. This is not the only threat case related to the election that we are investigating. There are more. So let me be perfectly clear. If you want to threaten people because they think differently than you, the consequences could be your arrest. And Jones, if convicted, will be facing 20 years in federal prison along with a $250,000 fine. Reporting live downtown tonight, Victor Williams, Local 4. Thank you. Okay, Victor, thanks.